This is the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast, and I'm your host, Trudy Simmons from the Daisy Chain Group, providing platforms and opportunities for business women to be seen and heard. This platform is for the women entrepreneurs that want to hear the real stories of what it takes to be yourself and run a business with all the different hats that you might have to wear. Come and join the Shine On You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration, and monthly masterclasses for you to grow your knowledge. Go to thedaisychaingroup.com for more information. These are the platforms to hear and share the stories of the tenacious, the rebellious, and the resilient women that are working towards the future that they build for themselves and their families. Hello and welcome to the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast. And today I am thrilled and excited to introduce you to Angela Heap from AH Fertility Nutrition. Angela, thank you so much for being involved in the book and the podcast. Please tell us about your business. Great, no worries. Well, thank you for inviting me, Trudy. Really excited to, to talk about this and uh, first time I've ever done it. So really exciting. Yes. Um, so what I basically, my business is all about is helping uh couples, single people um, get pregnant and uh, when they've had fertility issues and also supporting them on their fertility journey. Mm. I also help other nutritionists now in in the last year to actually uh, gain more confidence and support them to also understand and move into the area of of working around uh, fertility full time as a nutritionist. Brilliant. Thank goodness. Um, You have recently been diagnosed with ADHD. How did finding that out help you with a way to do business? So I think a lot of people actually in business probably have this diagnosis and are completely unaware, Trudy. So Mm -hmm. it's something that I recently started looking into because of the way things were changing with COVID and working from home and dealing with things. So that basically has been how I've managed my business the whole way. And the way I do business is working with people that really understand the condition that I have, can help me organize my time and support and uh, enable my business to work a little bit better. So I have some great people that I work with. And also, you know, in terms of interviewing people, I make sure that they understand and are capable of supporting somebody with ADHD and dyslexia because there's some very, very interesting and important skills that we have. And I think it's important to get the right person um, and you know work through any issues that we have um, around the business. We change things a lot. And I think that's what ADHD is all about. It's working kind of very last minute and very creatively as well. I think that's one of the things is when you get diagnosed with anything or with something like ADHD, Mm. there's so many people that will tell you the negatives yeah and it's actually a lot of positives that can come out I think you put in the book about with um, with ADHD it's good for business because it means that you do take risks you do move forward you do take immediate action yeah absolutely and I think that's the only way you work if your brain's always worked like that mm. it comes completely naturally to you and I think so many people I speak to now who have their own business didn't really know how to work around the politics of normal environment, you know, in works in the corporate world, or they just kind of came up, came a cropper basically at management because they worked the way they knew was true. And it didn't really work for the the management style of the company. Mm. So in that, what led you from writing grant funding applications to training as a nutritionist? So kind of connecting the dots is really interesting. And I think as a person and generally as a family, because this condition generally is passed down the family line, is I think your solutions based. So I'm always looking at, you know, how somebody can give me some basic ingredients and how I can turn that into something completely differently. So I think that translated across from helping people write grant funding applications for anything that they had ideas wise to help them to run with um, certain things in their own communities to now helping people to actually have babies. So they come to me with all sorts of conditions and all sorts of problems. And I basically try and delve into that, break it down, work through it, and then actually, you know, make it make it work the other side, really. How utterly rewarding as well when that person Mm -hmm. turns around and says, I'm pregnant. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's the best feeling in the world. It really is. And I think it's kind of like you, you project manage the whole thing. And that's, you know, interesting because that's what I was doing beforehand with people's ideas and their creativity. Mm-hmm. I was supporting them to, you know, really understand their own body and to make sure that they can really get through from one stage at the next with absolute hopelessness. And sometimes from people having all sorts of miscarriages and, you know, conditions that stop them from having pregnancies to then going, actually, I can do this. And then going on having two and three babies after the first one where they'd had multiple miscarriages. Yeah. What are some of the biggest changes that you've seen in the way that people view fertility nutrition since you started? Well, I think so many people when I first started back in 2008 didn't really make that connection between what goes in your mouth and what actually then is the body is translating and supporting. So I know that people look at things like cardiovascular disease and diabetes and all sorts of things and do that connection, but they didn't actually make that connection way back, you know, 14, 15 years ago with the fact that if you don't put the right things into your body, Mm. you're not going to have the raw ingredients to support hormones, which then can actually go on and help you to have a baby. So I think the difference now with things like social media is we can really start putting that information in, backing that science up and saying, look, you know what, we're not just about hocus pocus here, have a few, you know, goji berries and take this fish oil we can actually really say look we've done you know a lot of research around this and there is some major major things particularly things around things like the microbiome you know in the Mm. vaginal microbiome the endometrial microbiome there's all sorts of things now that people are totally beginning to understand and I think that's so so important because once you get people on board you've really got them to then comply to the process that you're working with to help Mm. them actually to get there. What I love is that I've known you, I've known known you and known of you for quite a few years, probably three or four mm. years now. And mm. that's because one of my friends in Australia is a hormone expert and she refers clients from Australia or from the UK to you in the UK. And at that time, there mm. still wasn't a lot known about this. And I think it's it's really becoming more um, prevalent in people finding you, knowing about you and appreciating what you're what your capabilities are in them getting what they want, as you said. And I, I just love how the world works and brings people together. I oh, know it's amazing. You always meet the right people, don't you, to, to help you on your way. And I think, you know, that's the beauty of what you do as well, Trudy. You're connecting people all the time and you're allowing people to shine. So I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Brilliantly said. <laughs> um, if there is one lesson that you've learned that you'd want every entrepreneur to know, what would it be? I would probably say, be yourself you know always because your story is unique whatever you and your family line's gone through has been passed down so you've had those experiences they will actually impact on your story there's nothing worse than seeing someone copying all sorts of things on social media when it's actually not their story they've had a completely different story and you know what's happened to them in the past has been completely different so just stay true to yourself always listen to that voice you know you're not going insane it's actually guiding you in the right direction Mm -hmm. and you know maybe don't probably go and see a mentor right at the beginning of your journey because I think you need to take time to understand who you are and what your message is but then definitely do take all the kind of uh, support and guidance you can have if you're at that level where you need some support going forward to that next step in your career. Perfect. Thank you. And what's your favourite piece of business software? So I generally tend to use my clinic software, which is Practice Better. And that really helps me to keep very organised because that's one of the things with ADHD. You can literally walk up the stairs and say, what the hell was I going up the stairs for? I've forgotten by the time I've got to the top. Short term memory is really terrible. So using software like practice better really helps me to organize my clinic Mm. it helps me to send tasks to other uh, clients as well gives them all sorts of things that support them and manages me in a way that I couldn't do before I actually used it this is why I love asking this question because you just don't know who's going to listen that's going to go I need that software so practice better I haven't heard of it so it's well getting that out there thank you so much Angela 
This has been an absolute pleasure and I can't wait to see what getting your story out there will do to somebody will listen to this and think crikey I need those services I didn't know that was available so thank you so much for being involved in the book and the podcast. Well thank you for letting me tell my story Trudy I think that's your gift as well you let people tell the stories and I think it's an amazing thing to be part of really and I'm really chuffed that you you invited me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like the video and click the subscribe button for this channel for more inspiration. If you're a businesswoman looking for that community that will support you and lift you up, come and join the Shine and You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration and monthly masterclasses to grow your knowledge. Go to the daisychaingroup.com for more information. And for even more inspiration, please go to the link under the video and get your copy of the Shine You Crazy Daisy series of books with inspirational and motivating stories from businesswomen around the world.